Welcome to Make It Take It Sports Betting Tips and Picks. I'm DC. With more and more states approving sports betting and Major League Baseball is coming up opening day around the corner, thought I'd make a, a simple, uh, basic baseball betting line video. I started making instructional videos. I'll link some in the description below. So far, I've done basketball. I also give free picks on the game. So if you're interested in sports betting and you want free picks and you want to learn about the lines, terminology, things like that, please subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you can see when I make new videos. So let me get to the baseball lines. I have a dry erase board and a drumstick. Let's get to it. So when you pull up the baseball lines, this is an example of one game. You're going to see the teams listed and then three columns. The teams here are the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Giants. Starting pitcher is going to be listed under the team. because The starting pitcher is really important in determining who you think is going to win and handicapping the game. And it greatly affects the odds. The first line here, we have the run line. And what the run line is, is it's the margin they have to win by. So the favorite in this game is going to have a minus money line. And it's minus one and a half. The run line is usually one and a half in baseball, the standard run line. There's different variations that I'll get into in other videos, but the standard run line is one and a half. So what that means is the Giants have to win by two or more runs. For you to win your bet, if you take the Giants, minus one and a half. If they win four to three, you lose your bet because they didn't win by one and a half or two runs. They put it on a half so that there's no ties. It makes it a little easier. And the Diamondbacks are plus one and a half. You're getting spotted a run and a half. You're getting a run and a half head start. So the Diamondbacks, the Giants can actually win four to three by one run. And you can win your bet if you took the Diamondbacks plus one and a half. But if the Giants win by two or more, the Giants win that run line. What the number underneath the run line is, is that's just that's the house odds. And it's based on an increment of 100. And it, I mean, it's the standard odds. It's every has that. And what it means is if you take the plus one and a half here with the Diamondbacks. The minus means that you have to lay or put out 130 for every 100 that you want to bet. That doesn't mean that you have to bet 100. You can bet anything you want, anything that you're comfortable with. But it's based, they're always based on 100 when they're listed in the lines. It's just a round number, it makes it easy. So essentially, they'll take $130 out of your account, or if you're at a betting window, you'll have to put up 130 if the game comes out, you get the 130 back plus 100. What the plus means, so you have the Giants that are minus one and a half. They have a plus. The plus means that's how much you're going to get in excess of 100 if you put up 100. So you're going to get back the 100 that you put up plus 110 for the run line on the Giants. The total runs is just the total combined score at the end of the game, including extra innings. Again, there's variations on that, but this is the basic standard lines that you see when you pull up. So if the game ends up a total of eight, if it's like seven to one, eight runs, the over would have came out. A four to three game is a total of seven runs, the under would have came out. And that's usually around odds of minus 110 which is pretty much the standard on uh, straight odds. In this case, uh, the Giants actually won 7-1, to one, so the over did come out. And then you have the money line. The money line is based on the increments of 100, just like any of the odds that are up already. But what the money line is, you're taking a team just a straight-up win without a margin of runs. They don't have to win by any amount. If you take the Diamondbacks on the money line, since they're an underdog, you're getting plus 175 on 100. So you put up 100. For every 100 you put up, you're getting 175 back. Conversely, for the Giants, since they're a favorite, you have to lay 210 for every 100 you want to win. So if you want to win 200 on the Giants, you're going to have to put up 420. We just multiply this. 
for every hundred or subtract it for every like if you want to bet ten dollars you want to bet ten dollars on the game you got to lay twenty one dollars you got to give up twenty one and you're getting back the twenty one plus ten dollars if it comes out based on increments of a hundred what ended up happening in this game and this is a game from last year from 2021 Giants ended up winning seven to one so the Giants won on the run line because they won by more than two. They won on the money line because obviously they won the game. And the over came out because it was a total of eight. So that came out over. So that's it for like a basic baseball line. Again, there's, there's variations and I'll get into that in other videos. I've also made videos about other sports. So if you want to see those, check out my playlist and I'll link some in the description below. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for watching.